encounters is a lot of with people, not a lot, sure, but I've seen some people. We are as everything about them. Is it? Should I say it's positive or negative? I don't even know. But I've come in contact with people that only God know what's wrong with them. Every little thing like this, every little thing like this, like they lost their faith in God. I think I've come in contact with people like that, and through the help of the Holy Spirit, God has helped us together. We are going. So, hello guys, welcome back to my channel. <laughs> My name is Kenny. And your bitch, That's my name. So you can call me Kenny. Feel me all the way from Ogun State here in Nigeria. You're welcome. If this is your first time of seeing me, welcome. I am Kenny. If to my returning subscribers, thank you for coming back. God bless you. You've always been supporting me. You've always been making me grow and grow and grow every day. God bless you. Thank you. Thank you. And thank you. So <laughs> Well, today I've got a very nice, nice tips to share with us as usual. I've got a very nice tip. So, please and please take your seats, relax, and let's watch together. And if you're a new subscriber, if you're a new person here on this platform, please don't forget to hit that red subscribe button. It is like painted in red subscribe button. And don't forget to hit that notification bell. Put it in that and all or what or whatever. <laughs> Try to make sure you turn it on so that you get notified anytime I post another video. Thank you. God bless you. Thank you for supporting me. Thank you. Thank you for joining our family. God bless you. So today, well, during those weeks I wasn't able to upload or post any video. You see, I learned a note. And in my learning, I love sharing with us. This one is not even doing, it's not only doing those weeks. It's about the weeks that I've been passed. I've been learning, I've been learning, I've been, and I'm still learning. So sit down, relax. Let's share this together. Now, well, without much ado, let's jump right into the video. So, well, the little things I want to share with us today is about being. Let me just give you the mini optimistic, optimistic. It should be positive when it's a state when somebody is always positive about life. It's a state when you are always positive about what happened. No matter what happened in life, you're always positive. And that requires what? Your faith. So, let's share no let's get Now, well, the thing is that, although I know in life it is natural, it is normal for you to... It is normal for you to always feel bad or feel depressed at times, most times. But please, no matter what comes your way, please be optimistic. Be positive. Please be positive. No matter what comes your way, be positive about it. Hmm? So even in bad situations, you can be positive. Because you don't know what is going to come out. You, go, you don't know what is going to be the result, the end result. So be positive. Be positive about life and i see god helping you now i want to share with us tips when or how will i will say it when should you be positive when should you be positive well let me say it's only it is not only when you are happy that you should be positive no you shouldn't be positive when you are you shouldn't be positive only when you're happy be an optimistic every time don't be a pessimistic do you know what is pessimistic? Is? Somebody who doesn't believe in positive things. It's always negative for them. They're always jumping from fire to fry pan. There is no from grass to grace for them. Hmm? And God has made everything beautiful in its own season. God has really granted us um He has really granted us the, the ability to make decisions on by our by ourselves on our own. So it's that you decide to be to be a, a person that carries positive vibes of always. It's either you decide to be a person that carries positive vibe always, or you decide to be somebody who carries negative vibe. Choose. It's not my fault. But, well, what I'm just doing is just like trying to motivate you to always be positive about whatever comes your way. I face so many things in life that sometimes I just be like, well, God has helped me this far. He will still see me. He will still see me. See me, see me, even to the future that I don't even know. 
is still going to see me through. So please and um, please, in in whatever you are doing, please be positive. Be positive. I know it's not easy. Oh, see, you want to poison yourself. It's not easy. If it is left to me, I'll I'll tell you to poison yourself. Keep keep yourself die and go. But with God, everything is easy. So don't kill yourself. Don't kill your destiny. If you die now, you have lost it. You have um not only lost to yourself. You have not only lost lost get lost or whatever. Okay, my pastor was saying something something one day. I was in a fellowship one day. Well, I used to attend the fellowship, yeah. God's feeling, I've yeah, been attending. So one day he was actually preaching, and he said that day I got to know that your destiny is not meant for only you. You are not the only person that owns your destiny. A lot of people owns this destiny. You, a lot of people, you are you are owned by a lot of people. But you, you own yourself, oh, like you own yourself. But you are you are accountable for many people. Yes, let me use that word. You are accountable for the actions that many people made. Are you getting it? Now, he said that day that, um, how did he even say it? Holy Spirit, remind me, remind me. He said that day that your destiny, whenever you are praying, you should try and remember people that are very close to you or they are far from you. Try and remember them because you are not only attached to just one person. He said, okay, now I have a friend. That friend, her destiny is attached to me. If something happens to her, I will be accountable. Are you getting it? Because that's why I said, remember to always pray for your friends. Everybody, every destiny has, that God has tied to your own, remember to pray for them. Because you don't know where they will be useful. Sincerely, you don't know where they will be useful. So, that day, that was the day I got the understanding that this is my head, this is my destiny. It's not only meant for only me. So, whenever I'm praying, whenever I am praying god has been helping me the holy spirit has been has been bringing it to my remembrance if i can't mention anybody okay maybe i'm too tired i'm so exhausted i don't want to pray long prayer i just want to pray like a five minute prayer and just get out this is me i am you so i'm not somebody that I, okay ah, every time one hour no 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 no. if it is one uh, five minutes i want to pray this is what i will do okay give god thanks do the other stuff prayer of intercession then i want to tell god that god those souls for every soul for every destiny you have attached to me you have attached to me for every destiny you have attached to me whether my mother my father my brother my sister my my family my second family my whatever my whatever it is those destiny you have attached to me one in one way or the other every one of them that's why i mention it now god to every destiny you have attached to me in one way or the other i don't even know want to know why I, I come across you when i come across you on, YouTube, on youtube on instagram on facebook on whatsapp any social media or we come in contact physically i don't want to know i'm not used to be mentioning somebody okay my mommy bless my mommy today but no 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 this is what i say god every soul every destiny you have attached to me in one way or the other this is what I want you to do for them. Protect them, guide them, order their steps, direct them in all their affairs. And God has been doing it too. Hmm? God has been doing it. God has been faithful. So please and please, be positive about life. Your destiny is attached to somebody. Somebody's destiny is attached to yours. That's how we are connected in this life. That's how we get connected. To, we get attached to each other. Because when I was going to, I was like actually meditating on that word. I was like, wow, okay. Now my mom, I have my mommy now. My sister, my aunties, my aunties, my brothers. That means my destiny is connected to my mommy's own. My mommy's friend own is connected to my. My mommy's friend has another friend. Oh, okay, my friend. Let me let me use myself as an example. Okay, I have a friend now. Her destiny is connected to mine. She has another friend. That that another friend because my friend's destiny is connected to that another friend's destiny. They are all together connected to me. I am the source. Are you getting it? So whenever I'm praying, I don't pray that God. Eh, I remember um eh, Monday today. God bless Monday for me. Um, do this for her. Do, mm, 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 mm. I don't do that. I just say, God. Every soul, every destiny you have brought my way. That, that prayer is a very special prayer. It's so special. So special. 
so special. Ah, so I don't joke with it. Though. I don't joke with it. Even if I cannot pray long prayer, that's what I do. God, do every so, every so you have attached to me, you know your name. So please be positive about life. Hmm? Nothing wrong with life. Should I tell you one secret? There is nothing wrong with life. This life that God created, this whole earth, this whole universe that God created, there is nothing absolutely wrong with it. It is human being that is in it that something is wrong with. Hmm? It is human being that needs amendment. So please, create positive vibes. Only. <laughs> so, well, that's that about it. So, well, I want to... Maybe I like some points on um, reasons why some people are negatives about things that are going in life. Reasons why some people, their faith is always um, at the bottom. You know, the Bible says that. Um, the Bible says, without faith, it is impossible. It is even impossible to please God. <laughs> so who are you if you don't have faith? You need to have faith, please, my dear sister and brothers. My dear mommies and daddies, my dear uncles and aunties, my dear siblings, my dear younger ones, please have faith. Because without faith, it is impossible to so please God. So I'm going to let, let's just jump right into those causes why some people are negative about life. I'll just give you some points and we'll, we'll be gone. We'll be done. The first one is um, some people's general experience about life. Maybe it's because of your general experience about life. That's why you you are always uh -huh. thank you, Holy Spirit. Some people are always bitter. Yes, because of their experience about their experience about life, their, their experience in life, they are always bitter, and that leads them to always being negative about everything. If they tell you that, if they tell that such a person that you are going to get married next year, be like get married next year, you learn so. Tell me that me that I just broke up, me that I just shake back, me that I just shower. It shouldn't be that way. Don't have that mentality. Have this mentality that yes, so king to that world. Somebody told you, don't even know, don't even know where that person is even coming from. He just told you that you're going to get married next year by God's grace. I see you getting married. I see you in your white gown. And do you know what you did? Just look at him like this. Like he just gave him that look of kilo we go safe. <laughs> My dear sister, please, eh? You need to work on yourself. So don't let your your the, the experience, your past experience about life to weigh you down. No, they should always build you. Okay, I mentioned in um, reasons why we face challenges. If you have not watched it, go and watch it. This is close to work, daddy. So I mentioned in that video that the reasons why. It's in that video all oh, challenges going on the first video that the reasons why we have a lot of homicide or suicide rates is because these people that are killing themselves every day are committing suicide every day it's because they don't have the understanding of who they are assuming they have the understanding of who they are they won't they won't, they won't even dare it so try be positive about life okay whatever happens in life Whatever happens in life, I don't want to lose my faith, faith in God. Well, no matter what happen, happens in life, I'm not going to lose my faith in God. That should be your objective. That should be your aim. That should be your goal. Not to be saying, ah, why me? Do you know what I do? If I face something that is bigger than me, I'll just, I'll just go into my corner and cry. I will cry. I will cry all the tears in my house out. And that's all. That ends it. So I'm going to question and go, ah, God, why me? But when I don't have the understanding, I used to do that thing. But immediately I got the understanding of you questioning God uh, that why you? Who are you? Who are even you? Who, who you be? Who are you, self? So why are you questioning God? So since then I stopped it. The only thing I just be like, God, well, hmm. I say, you well alone. You do, you do whatever you want, God. Just use my life to. To make wonders, Abby. Decorate my life with wonders. Decorate my life with wonders. Wonders that people will see and celebrate with me. And that's all. Don't need anything again. Again. So please and please, don't let your past experience weigh you down. Hmm? Don't allow it. Okay. Just like I said in that first one, that your past experience. I said it 
Lack of faith causes it. Um, that point. Lack of faith causes it. When you don't have faith in God, when you have lose all your faith in God. Maybe I mentioned in um, challenges, the first video I made, I mentioned in that video that the reason why God, <laughs> I said that day, I said that day, I said that um, sometimes we pray, but our, our prayers, the answers to our prayers are not given to us easily. Maybe because God is actually saying that if I give this child this thing, he's requesting for it, we stray away. Or if I give this child this thing, he's actually requesting for that thing, might be the might be the one to kill him. Or if I give this child, that, that thing is requiring from me, something bad will happen to him. So God now intentionally delay your prayer. It's not as if God didn't hear your prayer. Or, he had. But at the right time, at the best time, he's going to gather all of them and give them to you. So wait for your time. Hmm? Don't no. The third one is um the third one is a state of no hope. When you have hope, when you lack hope, like when you are hopeless. And when you are like, okay, ah oh God, have mercy on me. And so um the next point is when somebody that gets tired easily. If you are somebody that you can any little challenges you face like this, you are always tired. Please watch out. Please watch out. Be on the board. The next one is when you are not being able to accept challenges. Try and accept challenges to realize that it helps you to grow. Challenges help us to grow in life. That's one thing I know so far. It helps us to grow in life. The more challenges we face, the more stronger we are in life. Lack of God's word. The next one is lack of God's word. Don't, what do you base? What What do you build your life on? You see, on the word of God. What is the foundation for your life? Is it on the word of God or what? Name it. Well, so that's all the tips that I have for you today. Then this takes me to um, a question that says, when should you be optimistic about life? See, there's no exact time or date you should be optimistic about life. Be positive always. Carry positive vibes. That will help you go higher in life. That will help you go far better in life. Be up, be positive about life when you, when you think you have lost it or when you have when you think you have lost all people don't get a sister don't get yourself a sister keep on trying keep on going keep on believing and i see god helping you in jesus name so for today <laughs> for today this will be all i will be saying maybe next time in our next video i'll be giving you more tips about how we can be positive in life so i'll see you in my next video thank you for watching do kindly help in sharing like comment and what subscribe don't forget to hit on that notification bell god bless you bye <laughs> sick yeah <laughs> your boy well it's about be optimistic about life be out <laughs> god i'm going to be this to be like this this is just oh come come me lay <laughs> Well, okay. Um, um, what's the the name of this channel I used to watch? Oh, she used to teach him English. I've forgotten her name. I want to mention you, but I've forgotten. Don't worry. Um, this auntie, <laughs> she always teaches English. So I'll go back to her. I'll tell her to tell me the meaning of him. Um, tell me, I'll be pronounce it for me. And um, being optimi optimistic, whatever. So it means that 